How you doing everybody? It's Zach Allen. We're going to talk a little bit today about what I feel could possibly be a secret in the golf swing. Okay, and I use that word lightly because obviously there's many different people that have claimed many different secrets. But it's a move that I really see the amateurs that I see in person struggling with and I see your great players doing well and I see them talking about quite a bit. Okay, and it has to do with shallowing the club but basically, just to put it bluntly, it's just, it's just called reversed forearm rotation, right? So all that means is when I get to the top of my backswing, right, my forearms have rotated this way. Now, you would think they would rotate back the other way, but actually there's a moment there where they still keep going back that way. So you see how my forearms are actually going this way as I'm starting down. Or what most people would call shallowing the club. I've called it the magic move before right? But basically that's all it comes down to. If you just stood here, as you're starting your downswing, your forearms should be going the other way. Why it feels so strange is like, but I got to hit this ball down here. I need to make the club move towards the golf ball, right? I'm in my downswing direction, but that's not what actually is happening. As you're going back, our forearms go this way, right? They're actually moving the club away from the golf ball. They're turning this way, right? My, my, my trail elbow is externally rotating like this as I'm starting down. And if you don't believe it, there's a, a couple pictures here of some of the best ball strikers. Like basically on my list of ball strikers, I would go Ben Hogan, Mo Norman, Lee Trevino, probably as the top three. They would, and you know, I, I think hit it even better than our modern crop of amazing golfers. But they all did and talked about, you'll see some of the footage here, this position coming down and they would even greatly exaggerate it to the point of their rotating their forearms. Check out these pictures of Mo Norman. He's almost in here like this and that's not what he did, but he's, that's what he felt he did. Okay. Or some of these different pictures of Ben Hogan and you've all seen his golf swing. You know, he obviously shallowed the club, but when he practiced it slowly, he was really exaggerating and emphasizing this feeling to the point where the club is actually kind of off plane, right? Like normally you'd think you'd come down, the, the plane of the club would point at the golf ball or the line that the ball is on. They're actually practicing it like this. It is so dang shallow. And you know how many times I've ever had a student come in that's been too much this way? Never, right? It's always some varying degree of steepness of the shaft pitching this way that usually people are struggling with. Where people get in trouble, is when they go to do it, they tilt their body back at the same time. And that's my right shoulder going under and I'm going into a little excessive side bend. That's not what we're talking about. When they're practicing this movement, you see how my body's really not doing anything in that moment. It's not tilting this way at all. That's lifting up my, my lead shoulder. That's not how we want to shallow the club. Okay, so I've given this drill to a number of golfers, guys that have been coming over the top for years. Um, couple different women that were really struggling with casting the club as they started down and sequencing it with their upper body first and it's helped them. Okay, so bear with me here. This is what the drill looks like. I've got a short iron in my hands here. You're going to basically just practice it first. Go up to kind of somewhere near the top of your backswing. You don't even have to go all the way back. Relax there for a moment and just take your forearms and just reverse rotate them. So my left arm is going like this ever so slightly probably about 10, 12 degrees. And then my trail arm is going like this ever so slightly. And I'm not doing it with my body. I'm not early extending. There's nothing really um, gregarious, you know, outlandish in terms of just my body movement. It's just a little bit with the forearms, right? And it's strange because you have to think you're going to be going this way before you go to hit the golf ball. So it's a total opposite, right? I'm going in the opposite direction in order to actually come down and hit the ball that's over this way in front of me. The club is going back that way still. That's why it's a reverse forearm rotation, right? You would think at this point we would start bringing the club down to the ball, but we don't. It goes this way just for a moment longer as we start down. So just practicing a little bit of awkwardness to that. And it's one of those skills. The only way you ever get this is if you just grew up from a young age and you just happen to start doing it one day, probably because your clubs are a little heavy and you know, you're a little kid and you start down and, and it just starts to happen. Other than that, it's kind of a learned skill. You have to learn how to do it. I don't think really 
most people, maybe one in a hundred will pick it up naturally, but for the most part, you've got to kind of rehearse it and build that skill in a nice, safe environment. So I'm going to hit a couple. I don't care where the ball goes. I'm not going to hit it real hard. I'm just going to practice that feeling of just reverse rotating my forearms. And then as soon as I feel good, I'm just going to lightly hit one. Okay. And that was pretty darn light. That ball did not go far at all. It went off to the right. It went 48 yards. So that's what I'm saying when you kind of learn some of these, these new moves. Now, we might hit it harder than that, but not your first few. If you really want to learn something that um, will be lasting and good, take it slow at first, right? Because what happens, as soon as you try to put more power into it, you're going to probably do it your old way. And the whole you know, um, process of going through this is going to kind of be uh, disturbed or not really worth it. So let's try it again up to the top. Swing back to about a three-quarter position. Reverse rotate your arms. I'm feeling my trail elbow go external a little bit. My lead go back behind me. And then I hit it again. And trust me, for those of you that have actually been taking the club and putting this arm wrestling force or this over-the-top force with these outside muscles, pushing the back of the shaft down this way in some capacity, it is gonna feel like you're playing left-handed because it's a dead opposite of, of the, the direction that we're normally going or the force that we're normally trying to apply. It's, it's an opposite force than what probably 90% of the golfers are doing out there. Normally there's this kind of force or there's this kind of force. There's not the correct force, okay? And really that force, it's real simple. It's just going this way. I'm not pulling down and I'm not throwing out. I'm not casting from my wrist. I'm not doing any of that stuff. It's just kind of a little bit of this, boom, and then we hit it. All right, one more. Maybe we'll go a bit harder. Three quarter, reverse rotate, feel it, hit it. Okay, so a little farther there, 80 yards. And then you start to build on that foundation, right? You start to get a little bit of confidence in it and you just slowly but surely get it going faster might be beneficial to have a camera running from down the line just to make sure you're not cheating. You know, you're not going back, doing this, and then coming down and still hitting this way. Once you get to here, you're going to allow the club to unwind. It's going to feel like it's coming down like this, okay? It's not, but it's going to feel like that compared to if you've been pitching the club over the top. And that's what I would do in person. If we had a lesson in person, I'd be giving you feedback on, no, let's go slower. You pushed on that a little bit with your, with your trail side but we're not, so you use that camera so you make sure you're doing it well. A Little harder now, pump it. I'm gonna even put a little bit of lower body. So I'm putting a little bit of initiation with my lower body as I feel that, and then a little harder. Now I didn't hit that ball straight, that ball went 110 yards, but I'm just slowly getting the feeling of what exactly is happening here, and I'm doing it in a nice, healthy way, right? When I say initiate with my lower body, you see what I'm doing here? I'm not going like this. I'm not exaggerating this movement and tilting. I'm just feeling a little bit of that reverse forearm rotation. So take a look at some of the greats there, right? Some of the pictures of Hogan, Mo Norman. It was literally one of the things that they did, they talked about, they felt, even to a, a degree where, you know, Mo Norman called that just one of his holy grail secrets as to why he hit the ball so well, right? He had a couple other ones, but that was definitely one of them. He just really felt like the club was coming in like this, like, like literally laying on a table compared to anything that was going this way. So I hope that helps you out. I hope that helps get rid of some of the swing issues you've had with being a little too upper body dominant, armsy, a little over the top, whatever it might be. If it did, give me a comment, give me a like, subscribe to my channel, go out there and put it to work on the golf course. I'll see you next lesson. Thanks for watching. When it comes to the golf swing, I've seen and tried it all but nothing has proven as effective as the concept that I'm about to share with you now. It is the single most powerful piece of golfing advice I have ever come across. In fact, I would go as far as to call it a magic move. Since I don't have time in this short video, I've put together a three-part web class where I teach you exactly how to put it to use in your game. Nothing held back. I call it my magic move training series, and you can get the entire thing free of charge by clicking the link right here. These videos aren't available anywhere else, so go ahead, click the link right now, and I'll send you the first lesson right away.